Well, some showers have been blowing up here across parts of the Sun Coast. Not everyone getting in the act, but it's been uh, fairly moderate to heavy rainfall at times for places like Northport, uh, spreading off into East Venice and also Siesta Key. North Siesta Key had some rain. Lido, Longbow Key, and now into Bradenton. All this moving off to the west at 5 to 10 miles an hour. The heavier showers now down Port Charlotte and into uh, near Northport. That activity, again, spreading off to the west. You can see Sumter Boulevard uh, getting some rainfall all the way down into West Price and then uh, right there near Heron Creek uh, over to Warm Mineral Springs. They already had a brief shower about an hour ago. Another one moving through and heading toward the Venetian right now. You can see that along I-75. Uh, and uh, near the plantation, they had a little bit of rainfall and not much right there in the island. Uh, some rain here has been moderate at times moving across parts of our area. And that continues to head to the west. These showers are just popping up right there along Cortez Avenue, spreading off toward Cortez and eventually toward Holmes Beach here in just a little bit. This is uh, just north of the airport. The airport has only picked up about uh, two-tenths of an inch of rain. So it gives you a little idea how quickly these are moving and how weak they are in terms of any kind of severe weather. We don't anticipate any with these. Well, the dry air is thinning out over the top of us, but it's going to be replaced here tomorrow as high pressure builds in right over the top of us. So our rain chances will drop down to 20% for Thursday, but then bounce quickly back up to 50% on Friday as a result of that east and northeasterly wind flow. And you can just see a well-defined eye now. It's starting to get even better organized. Just a short period of time uh, it has moved over in the water, and now we're starting to see a well-defined eye with Maria. Some light rain now at the airport. It's 82, and the dew point is at 75. The high today was a few degrees above average. 73 was the morning low. That was one degree shy of the average, and 8.75 inches of rainfall. We're over three inches above average, and 14 above average for the year. Well, overnight, a few evening showers, and then partly cloudy. To start the day off tomorrow should be nice and sunny. A few clouds in the afternoon. And uh, the uh, story is, is that this is a devastating storm for Puerto Rico, most of the island now. In fact, the ABC News is reporting 100% of the island without electricity. And this, uh, just about a week and a half to two weeks ago, Irma knocked out power to over a million people in Puerto Rico, and they just got that back up. So uh, this is just a devastating storm. And this one here is saving us. This is Jose, which will be spinning around here. Uh, as a result of Jose, the lower pressure will not allow high pressure to build in, which would normally force that storm more toward Florida or the Carolina coast, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. And now you can see as it emerged out over into the water now, we're starting to see another eye, although the central dense overcast is there. There's an eye now uh, which is uh, developing once again. A tremendous amount of rain still expected over Puerto Rico through the night and tomorrow morning. So flash flooding, life-threatening mudslides expected. And there's the forecast path and track taking it up off toward the north and eventually off to the northeast. There's still a chance it could have an impact on the northeast U.S. later on down the road. And there's another one behind it, but that one's expected to head off to the north. It has a 60% chance of developing over the next five days. Uh, northeast winds turn to the north at 5 to 10 knots. Seas will be 1 to 2 feet and a light chop on the bays and inland waters. The water temperature now at 85 degrees. UV index a 10. And the tides upcoming for Sarasota Bay, low tide at 816, another one at 821. Tomorrow, sunset at 729. A few showers, 74 for a low. These showers coming to end fairly soon. Partly cloudy, only a 20% chance for rain on Thursday. And then we will see a better chance on Friday. And even Friday evening, 40% chance, 60% on Saturday for afternoon and evening storms. Then less activity by the weekend.